So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our video of Mars in the 11th house in the sign of Aries for Gemini ascendant people. Okay, as in what happens when Mars is in the 11th house in the sign of Aries, what it also rules the 6th house with the sign of Scorpio. So one thing you understand is that Mars is in its own sign in the sign of Aries in the 11th house. And 11th house is a house of elder siblings, large organizations, hopes, wishes, desires, recognition, achievements, awards, conferences committee so one thing you will see naturally with this particular mars is that this person always will have a desire to take a leadership role in a group and community you're the type of individual who will actually want to behave like the elder sibling with your elder sibling because there's this natural competition that's going to be there between you and your sibling because sixth lord is in the 11th you always will feel like no matter what happens with the elder sibling they're either like your enemy, this competition, this rival. And the other thing we see is that such a person becomes very adamant about wanting to be an entrepreneur, wanting to do business. Business becomes like the primary focus for this individual besides just attaining technical education, technical knowledge, even doing business in technology, doing business, uh, you know, anything uh, that is kind of like related to new age and fire and also what happens with this particular mars is that because of this person's ambitions ambitions to achieve success ambitions to uh, achieve recognition they will have it'll create disputes within the family it'll create disputes within the family probably because they're so focused on their own agenda And one thing we do see is that such a person or their elder sibling growing up not only would be kind of like those um, uh, pranksters, you know, but it's kind of like a little bit of that bullying prankster. Somebody who kind of goes a little bit further than just pranking. And Mars in the 11th, uh, we also see that once children will marry somebody against their wishes. So if you felt like your son and daughter shouldn't have married this person, you know, they will marry that person. You know, either it's not really in terms of rebellious is because of your own perspective of who they should be with, who they should be not be with. And of course, you know, one of the big transformation for this particular individual comes through dealing with battles, dealing with enemies, competition, work rivalries. The changes that they feel and occur in their life happens through when they deal with the workplaces of, you know, rivalry and enemies. And one thing you'll also see uh, and for this, moon has to be in a certain place and sign, but a certain person will love going on safari hunting, may just love going on hunting. You know, um, a person can even like enjoy watching entertainment or movies related to hunting, like, for example, movies like Predator, right? That 87 movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. The predator is hunting. There's this, this love for capturing and hunting something. But mostly, it usually uh, confines of their own goals and ambitions and positions in their life. So they're, if that's not happening, then they're hunting for that position. They're like, how do I hunt this? They'll wait. They'll be patient. They'll be like, okay, now is the time to attack and get that promotion that I need. So they're very skilled in those particular areas of life as well. Okay, but also one thing we see that elder sibling will be a source of support as well. You know, 50% of the time. Because what happens is even though Mars is in its own sign, Mars is a trick lord for Gemini ascendant. It can definitely, regardless of where Mars is placed, there is going to be at one point some kind of animosity with the elder sibling. 
maybe they don't agree with your lifestyle you don't agree with their lifestyle okay so anyway guys this is my analysis of uh, moon and uh, mars in the 11th house you know in aries and as always if you do not know where your mars is placed uh what sign it's in what nakshatra it's in along with all your astrological details check out the links here karisastrology.com otherwise we'll see you later bye bye